let me tell you a little bit about a hobby of mine that I've spent way too many hours on in the last six months or so. And that is Magic Cube or Magic the Gathering Cube Format. In short, it's a collection of four or 500 cards and your friends come over and you draft those cards, create little decks and play against each other. It's actually very fun and it's very dynamic and it's always different. But as every Magic player knows, cards are only part of the story. The other part are probably accessories from sleeves, deck boxes, storage, dice, you name it. And for Cube specifically, we have a product called Cube Shells. Cube shells are little deck boxes that fit 15 cards in them, and they're supposed to emulate a true drafting experience. And Dragon Shield, one of the most famous accessory companies these days, they've made their own cube shells a while ago, I guess. And here's a review of the professor of the Telerian Community College, who's basically the leading authority when it comes to magic accessories. Unfortunately, there is a critical error when it comes to Dragon Shield Cube shells, not in terms of the quality of materials of construction, but the manner of construction. The way in which the plastic is folded into itself to create the shell leaves seams and obstructions on the interior that your cards can catch upon. And I'm just sliding them down and I'm pretty confident Yep. Now, I'm applying pressure and it's not going down because it's actually caught upon one of the interior folds. And so I have to kind of kajigger it. Is this a critical error? I feel that it is because not only is there a risk to damaging at the very least your card sleeves, which anyone who knows about sleeving a cube knows that that's a major problem, the chance of damage, even just in the form of dings and dents on sleeves is just too high with these. And in fact, it isn't much of a chance. It's almost a certainty. The issue happened to me pretty much every time I tried to slide my cards in and out. That for me makes this a no-go. A D grade from the professor? I don't know about getting those. And I didn't get them after I watched that review. Luckily, just this year, Dragon Shield released a new product, the improved cube shells. And then I tried to look up some info on them and literally no one reviewed them. I don't know how that happened. Did they go under the radar or something? So I just reached out to Dragon Shield if they can send some. And they did. And now I have three different colors of cube shells that I wanna review here in this video and show you guys whether they're worth getting or not. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Dragon Shield. They did send some accessories for a review. I'm really curious, so let's take a look. If you wanna get these, they come in packs of eight. And it looks something like this. Uh, this is a fat pack, so it doesn't come in, but packs of eight in different colors. Not a lot of colors available. And you probably need three packs of eight, 24 for a proper eight man draft. So how I see it, the best use for cube shells is when you're carrying a cube to either your friends or to a local gaming store, and you don't want to spend additional like 10 to 15 minutes shuffling all the cards and then dealing them out. You want to speed up, streamline the process of drafting. This is where they come in because you can do that at home, potentially, rig everything and then win every draft. Like that's pretty simple. In reality, they're here to save time and to give you a proper drafting experience. Also, I would say to keep the table cleaner. Of course, you're not limited to playing this only in cube. Uh, you can use this for whatever type of side deck or any type of project that requires smaller packs like this, but it is made with cube in mind first. All right, let's get to the review. So this one comes in with a logo, but it's not as visible as on the first version. You can only see it clearly under the light, like right now, where there's a lot of glare. Looks pretty good. It looks slick. Um, this is the blue one. The black one has a, oh, it has a different dragon, but it's, yeah, it's still pretty slick. It's not too prominent. The white one you can't even see unless you have glare. There we go. The way you open these is a little bit weird. 
unless you've used this type of products before. You have to tuck it in underneath this, but it works. And the, the quality of the plastic seems to be pretty up there. As you can see, you have another image on the back and it says cube shell, looks pretty good. They're all the same in all the colors. So the opening and closing, although it might be a little bit weird at first, works pretty well. It's pretty slick. You can tighten it up. And uh, the pack is not much thicker than the 15 double sleeve cards that it can hold. So you're not losing a lot of space if you're using these and putting them into your fat pack, for example. So what did they improve from the first version to this one, the 2022 one? Let's check it out. It's mostly on the inside. What would happen before when you were trying to insert the cards? These are, by the way, Tangerine Matte Dragon Shield, so pretty standard outer sleeves. I also have some double sleeve cards with perfect fits inside. So we're gonna test both. So these ones, are single sleeved and they should fit pretty easily and they do like there's there's quite a bit of space and you just close it like that perfect to take them out of course you do this and now you see they've added this flexible part on the back that makes pulling cards out extremely easy even if it's tightly packed so you see it from here, if you just put the finger in there, it bends with the finger and you just pull them out. There are no obstructions inside, nothing. Let me try to show it to you a little bit more close. So let's check the back side first because that used to be the big problem. It doesn't seem like there's anything in the back that would get in the way of the cards sliding down. And there's nothing on the front either. I'm checking the sides. Yeah, absolutely nothing. The inside is perfectly smooth and flat. But you might be wondering, did they make any compromises to achieve this? Well, I don't think they did. Uh, let's try to fit 15 double sleeved cards in this. I think that is the proper test. Dragon Shield perfect fits and Dragon Shield Mad Tangerines. Pretty standard sleeves, 15 cards. There we go. And they just slide on in. As soon as you get through the first gap, it just slides in, no obstructions, nothing. So that's 15 cards. Let's see the thickness from the side, if it changed or not. You cannot really tell if there's anything in there. So that's good. They're, they don't change in uh, volume as you add cards in them. I mean, they shouldn't. So I think that's good. Now, let's add one more card because in a lot of drafts, especially in my cube, when we play with four players, we typically draft an additional card 16 cards, I think all cube shells should support 16 double sleeve cards. Otherwise, I wouldn't get them because I use 16 packs, 16 card packs a lot. Let's see, 16 cards. They just slide on in, no problem. There's zero friction once you get past the first point. And again, they close almost perfectly. If they don't close all the way down, they don't hold there, but it's, it's, it's a minor thing. I wouldn't really be concerned about that. So 16 cards, double sleeved, nice. And just one more test. Let's try to push it to the limit before it explodes. We'll add another one. So that is 17 cards.
Come on. Yeah, this one is really pushing it. Let me show you what happens when you add the 17th card. Like, it seems like you can close it, and it does hold. Like, wow, okay. 17 cards, and it's still retaining its initial volume and shape. So that's great. But, let's see what happens to the 17th, or the first card. As you can see, this card right here is being kind of pushed out of the way and the pack itself is being bent outwards on the front side. So I really wouldn't push it with, with this card. Let's remove this one. So 16, they're all still fine. I would say that's a pretty good result. 16 cards, 17 is pushing it, but easily single sleeve, you can probably fit in like 20 cards. We could actually test that. Let's use the white one for this test. It's brand new, I haven't really even tested it. So it isn't flexible at all right now because I haven't even put anything inside yet. I guess they get a little bit more loose over time. 20 cards, single sleeved, Dranger Shield mat. There we go. Yeah, you can definitely fit 20. You do get this effect again. As you can see, the front card is being bent. Ah, even the, the 19th seems to be bending. Yeah. Okay, the perfect fits are taking less space than I thought. 18 cards, single sleeved, is where I would stop. More than that, uh, you get this bending that isn't really great for your, for your sleeves and for your cards. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, I would say all in all, this product feels super solid. And it's something that you will be using a lot if you're playing cube. And I definitely recommend you guys start playing cube. Again, you can fit them in the fat pack easily with your cards if you want to. Can you fit them in deck boxes? Probably not, but I wouldn't fit them in there anyway. Um, you could like barely squeeze it into this, for example. It's a deck box from the sleeves. This isn't really a deck box, but okay. But I would say they don't really fit in deck boxes. Doesn't matter in my opinion though. So let's address the three main negatives that were mentioned in Professor's video. I think the first one was that it would damage cards when you put them inside of the boxes. They don't do that anymore, so they fixed that completely. Second one is that the logo was too prominent. I wouldn't say that's the case anymore, because unless you have direct glare happening, you barely notice it and it looks kind of cool too i wouldn't mind seeing this it's like it looks good and i think the third one would be the color choices yeah they don't have a lot of colors i guess they're good enough i would love to see a few more vibrant ones because the black and the blue are both very dark overall i think this is nitpicking this product is really really good the, the Magic the Gathering pack of cigarettes. Um, you should get them, you should get them. If you're playing cube, if you want the ultimate experience, you should get them. All right guys, that's it for the review of the cube shells. Let me know in the comments whether you're getting these now or not. And uh, also a bonus question, what do you use to store your cube? Please let me know in the comments because I'm looking for better options right now than, than fat packs and just some old boxes. See you in the next one.